Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a super interesting unboxing video to share with you guys. Uh, this is, uh, this is a, a, a bit of a different type of item, but uh, it's, it's uh, the type of item that you have seen on my channel before. And I am very excited because it's been a while. It's been a while since anything caught my eye. Um, Mr. Serge Panchenko, which uh, is a name you should all be familiar with. And if you're not, that's okay, but I imagine you will be. Um, you'll probably recognize his name from different collaborations he's done with various uh, knife manufacturers. Um, in any case, I'm going to link this item in his website right down below so you guys can check it out if you want to. Thanks so much to Serge for sending this in for me to check out. Thanks to my patrons for uh, supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. Let's get into this. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. So I just got down here. It's fairly early in the morning right now. And I have a pile of boxes, things to unbox and create content out of. And uh, as soon as I saw this, uh, I, I was like, this is the first thing that I am opening. I am so excited about this. I think it's, just, it's because it's been a while here. Hang on, we got a note. Ah, uh, yes. Here is some info. Good deal. Let's open it up and then I will share that information with you guys. Oh, we got a shiny. We got a shiny powder. Look at that. That's a nice. Look at this. Dang. So I don't usually get excited about pouches. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Sorry. Keep it on camera. Complex. Jeez. What's going on here? Oh, boy. Ah, oh boy, look at that. That is cool. This is a quartz watch. It, my understanding is that it is a quartz watch. First thing I want to do is see how we've got uh, this. If it's, like, actually going to fit me the way that it is. I think I might know. You know what? It might actually fit just right out there. Look at that. It fits. <laughs> Perfect. I don't even need to mess with it. Look at that. That is freaking cool, man. The links look a little bit different. I kind of like that these are gapped right here. I don't usually see that. It's usually like these are all the way through, but it kind of looks cool. And we have this really dark kind of stonewashed look to it. The bezels here, which by the way, there's a ton of different options for these. They have the metal band. He has leather bands. He's got various different types. I think he actually included some different stuff in here. Man, this, this just fits perfectly. So we actually, yeah. He included some steel. I'm going to take, um, I, before I end this video, I'm actually going to take these off and put these on just to show you guys. But here, let me show you this. And if you don't want to, if you can't be bothered to open the description, then here's all the information right here. You guys can take a look if you want. You've probably recognized this logo on, you know, a knife somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we have the different bezels. He added some, looks like we got some extra links and screws and things here. That's great. And then there's some even, there's there's more screws. So we have a simple clasp here. I don't think, yeah, it's not milled or anything. It's just stamp clasp. That's okay. Um, we have, these are pin or these screw. That one's actually a screw. Huh. Or maybe it just looks like that. <laughs> Yeah, I think they are a pin, but that's okay. We have the uh, adjustments back here, a whole bunch on the clasp. The really, the main reason here is, let's, uh, I got to show off the loom. Uh, I'm not a watch guy, so if you know, if you're expecting, like, I'm a watch guy in the sense that I think watches are cool, and I'm getting into them, right? I was introduced to Seiko by Nick Shabazz, and then that was it. That was it for me, right? Now I'm just in this long learning process. Uh, we're going to get out the uh, Citadel flashlight real quick so that I can test this out because that's the brightest flashlight I've got down here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let's we'll charge that bad boy up here real quick and then we're going to shut the lights off so I can see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty darn good. Look at the little... There's actually a different... Is it a different shade of loom? Huh. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this looks great. Really cool, for sure. Uh, gotta find the lights again. There we go. I had to install a little light down here 
to, so I could find the switch in case I did this in the middle of a video and actually couldn't find my way around, which, believe it or not, happens. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. The loom looks good. Um, really cool. The uh, I want to actually go ahead and take these off and see what it looks like with the stainless steel bezels. I like the all gray look. He sent me a picture of the one he had and it had, yeah, I think these are, I guess these are just like slightly darker for contrast. But I, you know, initially he said, what do you want to do? And I said, carbon fiber. And he sent me a picture with the one that he had on his wrist. And I said, what's that one? And he's like, it's just all steel. And I said, well, I, well, I want to do that. So it looks like he was just being nice and uh, <laughs> just sent, sent all of it. So I'm not going to edit this. We're just going to do it real time so you guys can kind of watch. I, I suppose, you know what we should do is get this down lower so you guys can actually see what the heck I'm doing, even though my hands are going to be in the way. So, yeah, okay. Maybe we'll zoom in a bit. How about that? Yeah. There we go. I'll get intimate. I'll lower my voice as well. Um, but um, I think, yeah, this looks pretty easy. I think this is kind of a cool way of doing this. You know, uh, bezel swapping, and these are, you know, it's two pieces here. But like on the Formex Reef, I remember being excited about that because you could like pop the bezel off. And obviously that's a different kind of deal. Well, what I'm getting at here is I really like, sorry, I'm totally just like in the way. I'm really into the idea of being able to buy a watch and then customize it afterwards for the same. I mean, that's something that has always interested me about certain parts of the knife world is when you can buy a knife and, you know, you can enjoy it and cut with it and do whatever you're going to do with it. And then after a while, if it gets boring, you can buy another knife, which is what most of us do. Or you can, you know, spend a little, little bit, maybe in some cases, a little bit less money and you can buy some customization uh, things. Dress your knife up, give it a fresh look, right? Or just a different look. Um, and then you can continue to do this whenever you want. This is extremely easy, um, about as easy as I expected it to be. Just trying to get this screw to release from this um, scale here, there we go. And then we're just gonna pop these steel ones on here. It's one thing to be able to customize, you know, like, I always, I've watched videos of people like, hey, what we're going to do here is we're going to swap the face of the watch or something. And they're like, it's a simple process. All you have to do is take the case. back." And I'm like, oh, my God, no way. I wouldn't trust myself to do that. And I understand, you know, different people have varying levels of experience and, you know, trust in themselves to do the right thing, trying to make sure the threads are in the right place so don't strip anything. But... Yeah, I don't have enough faith in myself to actually take a watch apart. So, I'm sorry. Again, we're just getting right in the way of everything. Being able to just take two simple pieces off of the face of your watch uh, or off of the bezel area of your watch and replace them with two other pieces, right? And again, I'll have the page linked where it shows all of the options uh, for this watch. There are a lot of options. I mean, your options for contrasting bands and bezel pieces are pretty extensive. But being able to do this makes this really fun. And honestly, Serge, the first thing I'm going to do <laughs> as soon as I'm done is I'm going to go to your website and see what all the options I have for these little pieces because I kind of like I'd kind of like to be able to swap these out. You know, some days if I'm feeling carbon fiber, then I'm going to go carbon fiber. And it's a little thing, probably only something that the wearer of the watch is going to notice, right? Unless it's another watch enthusiast that you're near or in the vicinity of, right? But it's a, a lot of times, you know, when, you wear, when you're wearing a watch, it is. I mean, even if it is just for you or the knife that's in your pocket or whatever, if it's just for you, it's just for you. And, and you know, most of the time, I think that's enough. Uh, is just, uh, you know, having it there for you. Whoops. I didn't have that quite moved over completely. He should have edited this. He's clearly struggling to come up with things to talk about. Did you notice that? Yeah. I got the gift of gab. I can certainly talk a lot. But, you know, I found that when you run out of things to talk about, the best thing to do is talk about how you've run out of things to talk about and just keep the sentence going long enough that it extends perfectly 
to the point that you have completed what it is that you're doing. Okay. <laughs> Let's ah! – we don't need to be that close. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, this looks freaking awesome, dude. I um, I love this. This watch looks different than other watches like quite a bit. And I know there's a lot of wacky, crazy, weird designs out there. But I don't want wacky, crazy, different just for the sake of – this isn't wacky and crazy. This is just different, right? I like kind of understated or like kind of a minimalist. You know, I don't like a face that's too busy. I found that to be the case with the watches that I wear. And this is not. It's not busy at all. It's actually really nice and simple and it looks good. It's also not a huge tanky watch. I think he said this was a 40, um, which, oh no, wait, it's a 42. 40, no, it is. He said it's shrunk from 42 to 40. This is actually the smallest that I've got. I always look and I think, ah, the 42 is going to be the smallest I'm ever going to want to go. This is actually a 40 and um, I really enjoy this. This is nice. Okay. So, let's read here a little bit. Uh, with the Model 3, I wanted to bring back the unique styling of the Model... Here, I'm going to zoom in on this so that you guys can look at it while I'm talking. Uh, the time's not right. Sorry about that. I wanted to bring back the unique styling of the Model 1, but with some changes that many customers asked for. Mainly a smaller, lighter watch. The Model 1 weighed at, in at almost 200 grams or 7 ounces. Wow. With the steel bracelet, the Model 3, meanwhile, is 73 to 90 grams. Wow. 2.5 to 3.2 ounces, depending on the strap and the bezel material. The case width also shrunk from 42 millimeters to 40.33 millimeters. And the case thickness from 13.3 millimeters to 10.9 millimeters. Awesome. What allowed me to make the Model 3 so much smaller and lighter is using a quartz movement instead of a mechanical. Specifically, the Myota... I'm going to spell this for you guys, M-I-Y-O-T-A-2035. Another benefit to using a quartz movement is the reduced cost. The MSRP of the Model 3s is about 100 less than the previous two models. The accuracy on the Miyota 2035 movement is about plus or minus 20 seconds per month. Wow, okay. The water resistance of the Model 3 is 200 meters. The crown and case back are screwed in to provide maximum water resistance. Dial loom is Swiss Super Luminova. BGW9 on the 12, 3, 6, and 9 in this is a word that I'm not familiar with. Indices? Indicus? <laughs> I'm sorry. I N D I C E S. You can tell I'm not a watch guy. C3 on all the rest and also on the hour and minute hands. Model 3s come with two straps, a black rubber like uh, the one that came with the Model 2, and a brown leather. Both straps have stone wash buckles to match the case finish. I make the bezels myself in a variety of materials, which allows the user to change them out to give the watch an entirely new look. Very, very cool. This has a sapphire crystal. Um, let's see what else here. Uh, multi layers of AR coating inside. Three sixteen. The crown is three sixteen L. Screw down raised logo. Case back three sixteen L. Stainless steel. Screw down the logo and info. I haven't actually looked at the case back yet. Let's look at that. Um, hold on. This, my hand to wrist ratio is weird. So there you go. There's the case back. I, I just really like the look. I'm just a huge fan of the look. That's why I said yes to this. Um, let's see. Lugs, 22 millimeter dial applied in the index, index, indices. I'm just not familiar with that. Swiss Super Lenovo. Yeah, he said that. And good deal. Maker. Watches are made for me in Hong Kong. I make the bezels myself. So there you go. I'm really uh, happy with this. This is awesome. And this will stay on my wrist for the rest of the day and honestly for quite a while. This is um, outside. I mean, I say it's my first quartz, quartz watch. Truthfully, my first quartz watch was some fossil watch I got from the buckle when I was like 16, right? That's that's That was my first time ever being like, ooh, a watch, right? And I, I remember paying like 100 bucks for it and I remember feeling really fancy. Um, and I didn't really have any idea what, what the heck it was. Uh, outside of that, you know, I didn't buy another watch until here a couple of years into the channel. And that's when I learned about automatic watches and diver watches. And I still, you know, I'm just barely scratching the surface on all this. But when I get an opportunity to experience something a little bit different, then, you know, I take it. And this is that different um, that I am, you know, that I was currently looking for. So this is really cool. Again, I think my favorite part is the... You know, being able to switch out the, the bezel material there, I think that's awesome. Expect to see this on my wrist in many, many reviews. 
Um, thanks again to um, Serge for sending this in. Really, imp really impressed with the case here. Um, I think that's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Like I said, I will link his website down in the description so that you guys can check this out and all of his knives and everything like that. I forgot that we're like zoomed way up. Uh, maybe we should go back here. Ah, I pushed 10 again instead of 1. There we go. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.